Hello everyone, welcome to grade 11 general mathematics class. We are now in module 2 and the topic is all about evaluating functions. Okay, let's start with the definition. Evaluating functions is the process of determining the value of the functions at the number assigned to a given variable. Just like in evaluating algebraic expressions, to evaluate function, you just need to A. Replace each letter in the expression with the assigned value and B. Perform the operations in the expression using the correct order of operation. Let's have here an example. Given here the function f of x is equal to 2, 4, minus 4. Find the value of the function if x is equal to 3. So here is the solution. Substitute 3 for x in the function. So this is our function f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. The value of x that you're going to use is 3. That's why we have here f of 3 is equal to 2. This corresponds to this one. And we replace x by 3. Replace x with 3. And that now will become 2 times 3. And this one, minus 4. Okay? Do you have any question on that part? Next, we simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. This is now the right side of the equation. We're going to simplify it on that side. So we will have f at 3 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6. The value of this is 6. And so we have minus 4. Okay, did you get it? Do you have any question on that? Okay, so therefore now we have f of 3 is equal to 2. So in here we have 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. So our answer now will be, given the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 4, the value of the function if x is equal to 3, therefore, the value of the function is equal to 2. So, therefore, in the given function f of x is equal to 2x minus 4, using 3 as the value of x, the value now becomes 2. Okay, do you have any question on that? Okay, we go to the next. We have here another function. g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7. We're going to find the value of the function when x is equal to negative 3. So this time, we're going to replace the value of x with negative 3. So here is the solution on that. So let's substitute negative 3 for x in the function. So this is now g at negative 3. So this time, this is negative 3 because that was the given. And so we have 3 here. Where did we get that? We have here 3. And we're going to use negative 3 as the value of x. 
this one. And we have here exponent 2. We should also put exponent 2 here. And so we have operation here. That is addition. And we have set. Okay, you just replace the value of x with negative 3. Next, we're going to simplify the right side, this equation. We're going to simplify on that. We just copy this one, g at negative 3. And so we have, we are going to first simplify this equation this number here with an exponent so we have negative 3 squared or that is negative 3 times 3 that is equal to 9 and so we have here 3 just copy the 3 and then we have the operation addition and we have here 7 next so we have here 3 times 9 that will now become 27 plus 7. So therefore, g at negative 3 is equal to 34. Okay, do you have any question? For our answer in the given function, g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7 when negative 3 as you is used in replace as the value of x, we will now have the value of 34. So therefore, this function now has a value of 34 when x is equal to negative 3. Okay? Do you have any question on example number 2? Next, we go to example number 3. We have here function f of x p of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. So, this is our function. This time, we're going to find out the value of that function using 0 and using negative 1. Okay? So, here is the solution. So, the same procedure, we're going to substitute value of x. We're going to use 0 first. And then later, we're going to use negative 1. So using 0, we have here p of x. So this is p at 0 is equal to 3. This one here is 3. And then we have here 0. Since you are using the value of x, which is 0, you replace x with 0. And then we have here the exponent 2 plus it is here plus 5x so therefore we are going to put 5 times 0 minus 2 okay do you have any question on that step next we are now going to simplify 0 is squared we know that that is equal to 0 and copy 3 then we have here operation, addition, and then 5 times 0 is equal to 0 minus 2. Next, P at 0 is equal to 3 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 minus 2. So therefore, P of X, P at 0 is equal to negative 2. So, when the value of x is equal to 0 as the, in this given function, therefore, the value of that function is equal to negative 2. Next, we're going to use the second value of x, which is negative 1, because that is given in example number 3. We just again replace the value of x. So, this is now x. We're going to use the same function. This is now x, which is negative 1. And then simplifying them. So we have here negative 1 is squared is equal to 1. Do you agree on that? So we have negative 1 times negative 1. We have 1. And then we just 
copy 3. And then, so we have, uh, this should be plus. So this should be addition. And then, I know it's correct. So this is 5 times negative 1 is, okay, let me correct on that. Okay. So we have 5 times negative 1 is equal to negative 5. That's why we have here minus 5. And then minus 2. So minus 2. Now we're going to simplify that one. So we have 3 times 1. That is now equal to 3. So we have here minus 5, minus 5, and minus 2. Now we will get the final answer. 3 minus 5 is equal to negative 1 minus 2. That will now be equal to negative 4. So therefore, the value of the function when x is equal to negative 1, the answer is negative 4. Okay, so do you have any question on that? So therefore, the given function p of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 2 when p at 0 the answer is negative 2 and when p is uh, at negative 1 the value is negative 4 so we have here note treat each of this like two separate problems in each case you substitute the value in for x and simplify. Start with x is equal to 0, then x is equal to negative 1. That's what, that's what we did that solution. Okay, next. So we have example number 4. We have here the function f of x is equal to 5x plus 1. Now this time, going to use h plus 1 as the value of x. Okay. So here is the solution. Substitute x plus 1, h plus 1 into the equation for x. Okay. This time, it is not merely a constant number. We have also a variable. So, substituting on the value of x, we have f at x plus 1 is equal to 5. This one now 5. And then, since our, the value of x is x plus 1, we replace it with x plus 1. Okay? And then, so we have operation there. And we have this one here, which is 1. So, let us simplify. Okay, you just copy this one. And then, we're going to use distributive property on the right side. So we have here 5 times h is equal to 5h and then 5 times 1 is equal to 5. So we have here positive 5 and so we just add plus 1 here. Next, combine like terms. Okay. Like terms here are 5 and 1. So that is why. So we have here, bring down 5h plus, since 5 and 1 are constant terms, we just combine them. So we have 5 plus 1, that is equal to 6. Okay, so therefore, our answer on this function is equal to 5h plus 6. Okay, do you have any question on that? Next, we go to example number 5. We have here given function g of x is equal to square root of 3x minus 4. So, this one is square root of 3x minus 2. We are now going to find out the value of this given function using x, which is equal to 9. Okay, so here is the solution. 
substitute 9 for x in the function. So, we have here g of x is equal to, so we will, get, we will, we will extend this one. So, square root of 3, x now is 9 minus 2. Okay, can you follow? Next, simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. So, this is now the right side of the equation. Okay? So, we have 3 times 9. That's why we have there 27. So, 3 times 9 is equal to 27. So, we have here 27. And then, operation there, which is subtraction, subtraction. Index, we have here 2. So, we have g at 9 is equal to why do we have, uh, why is it that we have 25 here? Because 27 minus 2 is equal to 25. And now, that now becomes G at 9 is equal to 5. Why 5? Because the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Okay? So, we have the function g of x is equal to square root of 3x minus 2. When x is equal to 9, the value now becomes 5. So the value of this function of this function is equal to 5. When x is equal to 9. So do you have a question on that? Okay. I hope you can follow, guys, huh? Next, we have here number 6. So, as you can see here, this is a rational function. So, given here, function h at x is equal to 4x plus 8 over 2x minus 4. We're going to find out the value of the function if x is equal to negative 5. So, here is the solution. Substitute negative 5 for x in the function. And so, so we have, since we are, uh, we are going to replace x for negative 5 is equal to all of the x, the value of x, we replace it with negative 5. So, so that's why we have here negative 5 and negative 5. So 4 times negative 5 now here plus 8 and then... And the denominator, we have here 2. And so, our x now, this x, we replace it with negative 5. And we have here operation. This is negative. And we have here 4. Okay? Any question on that? Next, simplify the expression on the right side of the equation. So, we have here h at negative 5. So, where did we get negative 20? 4 times negative 5 is now equal to negative 20. And so, we have here operation, which is plus. You just copy that. And then, so we have 8. We have here 8. Next, we have 2 times negative 5. The value of that is negative 10. So we have a negative 10. And so we have operation there. So we have there negative uh, minus. And so we have 4 here. So that is why we have here 4. Okay, so we're going now to simplify. I'm going to erase first this one. Okay, we're going to simplify. Negative 20 plus 8, that is now equal to negative 12. And on the denominator, we have negative 10 minus 4, that is now equal to negative 14. Now, still simplifying. H at negative 5 is equal to, uh, what happened to the negative sign? So, since this is negative, divided by negative, that now become positive. So that's why 
uh, here now is a positive. And how did we get 6 and 7? We get its simplest form. So we divide them with a common factor, highest common factor. Uh, factor is 2. We divide 12 divided by 2. That's why we got 6 and 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Okay, our final answer now is, is equal to So this function h at x is equal to 4x plus 8 over 2x minus 4 when x is negative 5, we will get the value of 6 over 7. Okay, do you have any question on that? Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. We will have our module 3 on the next lesson, okay? Thank you so much.